What's up, you guys? Isaac with a chance here, and we're going to be discussing my top five anticipated movies of 2024, part two. With that down, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with is number five, it's Godzilla X Kong. Now, Godzilla X Kong is one of my most anticipated. Yeah, Godzilla X Kong is one of my most anticipated movies of 2024. After seeing the trailer, I think some people said, oh, the trailer is a little bit too vague, but some people love the trailer. If you're a MonsterVerse fan, I think you love the trailer. Even though we are going to get the second trailer soon, very, very soon. Um, now, Godzilla now Godzilla versus Kong, I'm so looking forward to this. I'm sorry, Godzilla X Kong, I meant to say. I can't wait to see this movie because after seeing the trailer, the trailer looks pretty cool. Yeah, after seeing the trailer, I feel like this is going to be a basic team-up movie between Godzilla and King Kong working together as a team instead of fighting off against each other like they did in the last movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. And what's, what I'm really excited for that we have seen the trailer, Scar King. I never heard of Scar King, and I, I was like, hmm, I'm going to have to look this character up. So, Scar King is this red ape who's most likely going to be the main villain of this movie. And that is why I can't wait to see Godzilla and Kong fight off against this main villain who's really up to no good. And I think this is going to be one of the most badass MonsterVerse movies ever made. And also the original cast who we've seen in Godzilla vs. Kong, well at least some of them are actually coming back and some are not coming back, which is understandable. So they'll be in this movie. So that is why Godzilla x Kong, I can't wait to see this movie. I can't wait to see Godzilla and Kong work together as a team this time. Then we get to number four. Number four is Venom 3. I had to put this on my list. I know. But I had to. So, so Venom 3, I'm looking forward to seeing Venom 3, but I don't know what the title is going to be for Venom 3 unless it's just going to keep this title called Venom 3 for now. So I'm like, well, that's fine. So I guess Venom 3, I guess the title for Venom 3 won't hurt, which is this title right here. So Venom 3, I'm really looking forward to this movie. And I don't know what this movie is going to be actually about. But we have a brand new villain coming in. And we're talking about another symbiote. His name is Toxin, who was teased at the end of Venom Let There Be Carnage. And it looks like Toxin... So Toxin is another symbiote who's actually going to... Who, who was a Marvel comic book character. Now they're putting him into live action. And I'm like, okay, I want to see what the design, the CGI design of Toxin looks like. Now... With the villains from the last two movies, the villain that I liked the most was Carnage. I thought Carnage was one of the most strongest villains from the from Venom Let There Be Carnage. Riot from the first movie, I thought he was like a weaker villain. I thought he was fine. But I did like I did like the way he looks though. But I thought he was an A-OK -okay villain. Yeah, Riot was fine, but I did love Carnage. What about Toxin? Is Toxin gonna be the strongest or weakest villain of the movie? It's too soon to tell. We'll just have to wait and see. To see if he to see um if he's gonna be a good villain or a bad villain. But Toxin, I can't wait to see Toxin in this movie, as long as they get him right. I mean, even if they don't, I will respect them for trying the best they can. And speaking of which, um, since Tom Hardy is actually reprising his role as Eddie Brock, and, and he's coming back as Venom as well, this looks like this is going to be the last time we're seeing Venom in the Sony-verse. So I heard, I think this is going to be the final chapter of the Venom of the last two movies. I think this one is going to be the last time we're going to be seeing Venom and Eddie Brock on the big screen. This is going to be the last time we'll be seeing them. And I don't know if they'll show up for Avengers Secret Wars. If not, then I totally get it. I mean, so um, I guess that... I guess that's pretty much it. So for Venom 3, like I said, I don't know what it's about, but I'm looking forward to seeing what the teaser trailer is going to be giving us as long as they don't give anything away. But I'm really looking forward to Venom 3. Then we get to number 3 is Deadpool 3. Now, we all know Deadpool 3 is highly anticipated. I heard that the script is perfect. It's actually I heard that I heard that the script is great. And I'm like, "Okay, Awesome. I can't wait to see what this movie is going to be going to be giving us. It looks like this movie is going to be giving us humongous surprises. Hopefully, things will get better with this movie than it did with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. With the cameos, though. But I will talk about the cameos in a little in, in a minute. So Deadpool, so Deadpool 3 is going to be taking place in... This is going to be the movie taking place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's going to take place in other universes, but mostly in the MCU. Because with this new movie, since they're discussing about the multiverse in this film, this movie will lead us up to Avengers Secret Wars. Which I'm hoping, I'm really looking forward to Secret Wars, though, in live action for the first time. So, 
And also Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is going to be in this movie. He, it looks like he had on this um his comic book accurate suit that was basically promising by but well, which is basically promising for the fans and myself cuz I grew up with the, with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. This was because with Hugh Jackman, I grew up with his Wolverine way back when I was a kid. Because I go way back. Because I grew up with his Wolverine. I love all the Wolverine movies. Even though um, it's so good to see it's go, it's so good to see um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine show up in this movie, and I think he'll show up for Avengers: Secret Wars as well. But not only will we be getting that, not just about the multiverse, we're also going to be getting um, some cameos. We're going to be getting cameos from the Fox universe. We might we are we're probably going to be getting. Um, cameos from the Fox universes, like, let's say, like, we might get the original X-Men, we might get the original Fantastic Four showing up for this movie, hopefully we'll spend quality time with them, hopefully they'll help Deadpool with this mission as well, maybe, um, hopefully they'll get the cameos completely right, um, yeah, I hope they get the cameos completely right, and it better be promising for the fans, and myself included, and also, we're also going to be getting variants. What's really that's really exciting. There are going to be variants in this movie. We're going to have Deadpool variants, maybe Wolverine variants. We might ha have other variants in this movie as well. Um, but also, um, but um, but also, yeah, I meant to say we are going to be getting the TVA, the, the Time Variance Authority, who y'all may know from Loki season one and season two, are going to be in this movie. So, since this film is going to be setting up Secret Wars, I can't wait to see what Secret Wars is going to be giving us. And Secret Wars is going to be about the multiverse, like, like the multiverse from other worlds, like the 616 universe, maybe the, the Sony universe and the, and the Fox universe colliding together into one. And that's, that, that, that's one of the things I'm really excited for, not just Deadpool 3, but Avengers Secret Wars. And that's it. I can't wait to see Deadpool 3. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they do. I can't wait to see Deadpool 3, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the trailer is going to be giving us. Then we get to number two. Then we get to number two is Inside Out 2. Now, now with Inside Out 2, I'm really, I'm probably looking forward to Inside Out 2 after seeing the first one back in high school, because the first one, the movie came out when I was in high school at the time. Now, a few years later, we're finally getting an Inside Out 2, but when I heard the announcement that we were getting an Inside Out 2, I'm like, um, okay, why? And I'm like, okay, as long as they get it, as long as it's as good as the first one. So, Inside Out 2, we are going to be getting brand new characters. We have, uh, we have our emotions, like joy, sadness, uh, fear, disgust, and anger coming back from the events of the first movie. We have Riley and her parents coming back from the first movie. And also, Riley will also be a teenager. Since she's a teenager, we're going to have brand new emotions. We're gonna have brand new emotions, but the one we were introduced to in the teaser trailer was anxiety, and now we have now we have new emotions. Well, mostly, well, mostly since this movie's still in production, still they're not done with the rest of the emotions. So we are gonna begin the second trailer eventually soon. So hopefully we'll see the rest of the emotions to see what they do in this movie. To, so hopefully what they do in this movie as well. But Inside Out Two, I can't wait to see this movie. Then we get to um. Then we get to the last but not least is number one is Joker two. I think it's pronounced um, Joker um, Felix a Duke. I I don't know how to pronounce this word, but I'm just gonna say Joker two. I'm not really good with pronunciation. Sometimes I'm trying, but Joker two. I'm really excited for Joker two, but I'm a little bit too a little bit worried about this movie because I heard this is gonna be the DC film. Now this might be the first DC film to be a musical, which sounds weird. I'm like. Putting a musical, putting musical numbers in a DC movie, does that sound strange to you? It does. But, well, it is, well, okay. Musical and, a, and, a, and Joker, Joker 2. Um, Todd Phillips is also directing this movie, which is, I'm really happy that he came back to, from, from the events of directing the first film, and now he's directing this one. Um, but with Joaquin Phoenix coming back as Joker, so good to see him again. Um, we're also going to have a brand new Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn in this movie is going to be played by Lady Gaga. Now, Lady Gaga, in my opinion, is easily one of the best casting choices for this role. She's really, she really, I think she really embodies the character perfectly. I mean, it's because Margot Rob Margot Robbie actually played Harley Quinn before in the DC Extended Universe. Now we have a new Harley Quinn, and that is Lady Gaga in this movie. So, now we now with Joker 2, if you have seen the first one, I bet you're going to be excited for this new one. If you're not excited with the, with this new one, I totally get it. 
with me, I'm definitely excited for, for a Joker 2. And that's all I can say for Joker 2. And, and that's pretty much it. So that wraps it up for the for the movies of 2024. Now these are the movies for, for part one and part two. I'm really, really looking forward to. So comment down below of which movies for which movies are you excited for for 2024? What movies are you excited to go see? What movies you you may not go see? What movies? Uh, so what movies are you excited to see or not see? So uh, let me know. So let me know what films are you excited and what movies are you not really looking forward to. So I guess that wraps it up for this video. And there's nothing much else to say. So be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.